Nate, we've been tracking you on social media. It sounds like you are hustling to get back. Give us an update on your health. Yes, sir. Um, you know, it was going quick there for a second, and then um, it's, I mean, it's still going quick, but it slows down as you get, as you start getting closer to like 90, 95%. And um, I would say I'm up there, I'm moving. I'm um, starting to do a lot of treadmill work, and uh, we're just working on explosive power. Uh, but I'm, I'm really happy with the process, how it's going, and, um, you know, I'm excited to be back healthy come, come summer, come camp. As productive as, as your career has been, there was a, a point where you had a decision to make on whether or not you would return to college or if you want to move on to the professional level. How, how much thought did you give to whether or not you'd return for another year with the Buffs? A lot of thought. I uh, talked to a lot of people. had a bunch of meetings with Coach Terrell. Um, you know, me and my family weighed all the pros and cons because there's pros and cons to both sides of the story. And, um, you know, I knew I had to be invested with 100 percent, whatever I was going to do. And um, coming back to the bus felt right. And that's the decision we made at the end. And um, I couldn't be happier, happier to be back here and, um, you know, have a senior season, a super senior season, but be, be back on the Colorado bus for sure. Totally. I love if you could take us inside some of the rehab. Everybody saw when Kobe Bryant tore his Achilles and kind of watched his comeback. What is it like? Like, is it, How early are you up? What are the, some of the things you're doing, and how driven are you in those early mornings in those rehab sessions? Yeah, so in the beginning, you're immobilized. Um, and, you know, the main thing is just getting the tensile strength back in the Achilles and um, you get a lot of atrophy in the calf and the surrounding muscles in the ankle and foot. So it's just getting strength back in those. Um, you know, as Achilles, he as Achilles is healing, um, you kind of just have to let it do its thing and not push it too hard while you're strengthening the calf and ankle and foot. And um, once you can run and, and push off and get that explosiveness going into it, then it starts moving a lot faster. Um, and it's just a day-to-day -day process. I mean, some, some days are great, some days not so great. And um, you just have to roll with the punches and, um, you know, attack it like you're attacking anything else. And you've got yet another defensive coordinator running things here, and you've been through that a few times in your career. Uh, how would you describe what your leadership role is and just making sure the defense collectively is on the same page? Uh, yeah, I try to expand my leadership role every day. Every day I'm on the field, even if I'm not playing, um, you know, whether that's in the meeting room with the guys or helping guys uh, after plays and practice and running off, coaching them up. Um, I think my leadership role has a little more emphasis this year just because with a new D.C. and um, still a pretty a pretty young defense and some new new positions we're going to have to fill um, with some vacated spots. So, um, you know, I, I look for those guys to lean on me and I embrace that, embrace that leadership role.